lesson six of this module six, where we're going to look at how to improve the performance of an AdWords um, campaign. So the one that is not hitting its targets, that's not hitting its goal, that isn't on track for its goal horizon. We're going to look at the actions we can take in our testing to get it there. So first thing, just a quick recall. Last session, we looked at how to expand the campaign. So for a campaign that hitting is already hitting its goals, how to expand it. This time we're all about return. And what we're going to do is we're going to create new tests. So we're going to start with keywords. One of the main things we can play around with, one of our main tools in AdWords is the keyword list that we're targeting. So what we're going to do is when we find keywords, we're going to look at ways to add more negative keywords. So stop our ads showing for things we don't want them to show for. We may look at things that are converting but are expensive and things that are not converting. So we're looking at all those areas where we're showing ads for a keyword that is just not as efficient as it should be. So let's have a quick look. Let's dive into our account. I'm going to come back into this account here. I'm going to go into ad groups. And now this particular campaign here, sorry, this one, UPVC Windows, it's got a cost per converted click of 64 euro. We're still targeting 55 as we are with double glazing. So let's have a look what we could do to get it there. It's a bigger, big campaign spending a lot of money in our account right now. So right, if I look at the keywords that are in here, lots of keywords in this particular campaign ad group, it's rather large. Um, PVC windows, we want to work now on where we're spending the most money. So we do this by sorting. I generally like to sort by either clicks or cost. Generally, I focus on clicks. Cost is equally valid. The two tend to be similar, but not always exactly the same. So we know that your PVC windows is here. We know it's got 135 clicks. It's an important phrase matched keyword. We know it's converted six times. It's got an awesome quality score. Let's just add onto here in our columns the cost per converted click. So cost per converted click, if I add that and save that. Okay, so right now we're getting to see some detail here. So UPVC windows converting at 64 euros. Our target is 55. Let's have a look at that, see if there's anything else we can do with it. Similarly, the next, next one down as well, PVC window. That is converting at 118 euro. Now you can see here, these two alone account for about 65% of the spend in this ad group. So we're gonna deal with these two specifically. So let's have a look at the details. Let's have a look at our search term report. Okay, what's working, what's not working? Let's have a look where the money's going. Sort by clicks, UPVC windows, single biggest search term on here, zero conversions, therefore we're going to pause that. So I would make a note of that keyword and add it as a negative or pause that keyword completely. PVC windows, again, no conversions, pause. Keep working down the list and we can either add negatives or we can pause. If we want to add a negative, We've seen in previous videos how to add negatives to an account. You can actually do them here, but you just need to be careful. So if I wanted to say, come into this one and add that as a negative, add as a negative keyword, look at how it's done. It automatically assumes it's an exact match keyword. We could change it to phrase match. Or we could make it broad match by removing all the um, speech marks on square brackets thing to bear in mind is if it's a specific negative we're seeing in here then we add but there are several variations on it we add the broad match because we want to catch all the variations so for example if someone's searching for a a three foot pvc window and that wasn't converting rather than adding three foot we would add, we'd need to add three four five six potentially all different sizes so we'd instead use the word, you know, FT for foot, use that as our negative because we know that that's going to cover all of them. So that's how we do it. We look for the broadest match we can without harming the rest of our account. And we need to be careful. We need to make sure we're doing the right thing. Um, 
Here, coloured UPVC windows. Coloured UPVC is an entirely different topic. Ought to be in a separate ad group. So I would add as a negative here by putting it in this box here and then create a new campaign if I thought it was appropriate for coloured UPVC windows. So we keep going through this cycle. Should we pause it if we really don't want it at all? Move it if we think it can perform better with a better targeted ad or put it into its own ad group. They're the options that we have. So it's pause, move or add as a negative. We can do all those things to improve this. And as before, log it in our list. The other thing we can do is look at match types. Um, if an exact match keyword is not converting, we have no way of being more precise with that keyword targeting, so we just pause it. If it's a phrase match, we can try and make it an exact match because it may be that we're too broad with our phrase targeting and by going exact, we can make it more cost effective. The other thing we can do is if it's a broad match, change it to a phrase match. Each one of these moves us up through the sort of routines of getting more and more specific. Just mentioned adding more negative keywords. So we can add negative keywords as we saw in a moment. Just a simple thing to do, add negative keywords. Add copy, like in the last video, we don't need to go through this particularly again. If we've got a low converting ad, pause it. You look at the best converters and use that to create new ads. Similarly, extensions. Now again, we went through this in the last training. It's exactly the same process. Look at the worst performing extensions, replace them with better ones. If we haven't got enough extensions, add more. Same applies to hour of day. Remember last module, we looked at our hours per day and we decided to extend our hours to reach more people. In this case, let's contract our hours slightly so that, you know, take off the extreme ends of either day or look using dimensions tab as we did before at those bad performing times of day and pause or lower our bids at those times of day. My personal preference is always to lower bids initially. If that doesn't work, pause. Same for locations. You may find your business has a sweet spot where you do lots of business from one area, less from another area. Focus your bud budget and your bids. Again, bid reductions if you want to do for some areas or pausing other areas if we don't want to use those. Devices. Exactly the same as we did before with devices. If our mobile isn't performing or it's more expensive, pause it. Lower the bid. They're the two things we can do. We can pause or lower bids. There are only two actions. So my initial action is always lower the bid first. If that doesn't work, pause. And finally, landing pages. Remember in the dimensions tab on our previous page, although it had no data in it, when we looked at, I'll show you it now, we went to dimensions and we looked at destination URL. This has zero data in it. But if we have data in there, look at which pages aren't converting. Review them against our landing page checklist from an earlier module. See how targeted, see how relevant they are. And if we can create a new one, let's create a new one to compete against it. So that's it for this session. It's more or less the reverse of what we did in the previous section. The only change really is the focus on negative keywords, pausing expensive converting keywords, and restructuring where appropriate. So if you're in this position, go away and make these changes. Remember, we make one set of changes in one ad group in one day. That's our change. That's our test. We then keep that sim static for a test cycle until we've got towards our goal. That's it for now. Speak to you later.